<laughs> the Stage 2 Playwriting Workshop is back. Deborah Lee Hall and Deanna Rhodes are playwrights. Welcome, ladies. Hi. It's a fun it's a fun day to have you here in this crazy mixed up world with Ron Rhodes wearing his cape. Uh, so I heard from Gretchen Ross that the response has been wow to this workshop. We have the workshop every year. Yes. Uh, it's been going on for seven years and this year we had 17 people that signed up to do it. Uh, it resulted in 13 actual presentations that are going to happen this weekend. And so that happens this weekend. Yes. Now you both have written a play. Yes. So tell me about yours. Mine's called To Farm or Not to Farm and it's a uh, in cooperation with my friend Tom Moore. It's about a young man and his father who are at a bar during a rain delay of a baseball game and they discuss why the young man should consider being a farmer or not being a farmer. So where did that story come from? He goes to this really neat little bar on uh, Weinbach and he's fascinated by the people that go there and so he asked me if I would help him out with the dialogue and so we did and it's I think it's pretty cool. How, and now, is it a comedy? Is it a... It's a, it's a slice of life. It's a thoughtful discussion about the intricacies of farming and, and working at a factory or going to college or being a tradesman. And then in the middle, there's a circumstance where one of the well-respected patrons they learn that he's passed away from an occupational injury. He comes back as a ghost. Even better. You love and, the ghost appearance, right? <laughs> and secrets are revealed about what happened in the past. And, and it's, uh, it's, it, I think it's very intriguing. Oh, I think people like will it. like it. And Deanna, tell us about your show. Yeah, so my show is Plus One, Minus One. And I actually, Deborah and I both did the workshop last year. So mine's a continuation of the, of the play that I put out last year. Um, it's about a comedian uh, that is from a small town and a family emergency brings her home. And she's trying to reconcile things from her past. So she also has a few ghosts kind of show up uh, that she has <laughs> to deal with. Um, but it's just a really cool thing that I got to start it last year in this workshop and now get to continue on with new play rights and it's just been a really cool experience so, so th and this weekend to see the hear the plays are they read are they acted out how do you all stage those well there's uh, there's two nights okay. Friday and Saturday and because there are so many of us there is going to be six presentations on Friday and seven on Saturday they're 10 to 12 minutes long and they're just a snippet of the play that the playwright has chosen to showcase their work they are actually being semi-staged this year. Uh, the, the actors will actually be reading them from a script, mm -hmm. but there will be a simple furniture, maybe a tiny little prop or two, uh, perhaps a suggestive costume, or are they all wearing black? I don't know, it changes, <laughs> we'll changes by the minute. Friday and sometimes. Saturday, you're gonna find but, out for sure. But the interesting thing about that, as a, as a member of the public, if you come and you're a patron, you get to vote on the one that you like, and it might be produced next <laughs> spring. So that's a, well, that's a reason to come out, to pick the one you like, to see which one you'd like to be developed into a whole play. Well, I'm excited for both of you, because it's gotta be exciting to see it and hear it, it when is. somebody else is adding it's their scary interpretation. too. <laughs> uh -huh. Uh -huh. Well, congratulations to both of you. Thank you. Join uh, these talented writers and many more to hear the uh, Place in the Playwriting Workshop. You can see them the 23rd and 24th, so make sure you show up for some good theater. We'll be back. Great music coming up.